I'm Dr. Stephen Smith, a functional medicine physician. Today's topic is complex regional pain syndrome, CRPS, sometimes known as reflex sympathetic dystrophy. This condition has not been very amenable to treatment, mainly because the treatment has been focused on treating the pain rather than underlying causes. This may not be true for all cases of complex regional pain syndrome, but what I've found in those cases I've seen are there's up to four or five factors that cause complex regional pain syndrome. And several of them have to be there for the condition to exist. The first is lymphedema. Complex regional pain syndrome usually occurs in an extremity. Lymphedema is when the lymph tissue fluid gets stuck in the limb causing some swelling and it also causes an accumulation of toxins uh, in the area. This causes an ongoing inflammation and inflammation causes cytokines and cytokines cause pain. The second condition is low glutathione. Glutathione is a compound that our body makes to combat inflammation, help remove toxins, etc. And if you don't have enough of it, then you're susceptible to conditions like complex regional pain syndrome. The third condition is methylation defects, which is sort of related to the glutathione deficiency because the methylation pathway is responsible for the production of glutathione, also controls neurotransmitters, uh, and makes a number of other compounds that are important in detoxification and also controls our genetics. Uh, methylation turns on and off our genes. So if you have methylation problems, this can cause a lot of problems in various systems of the body. The fourth condition is toxicity. And it's related to the first, the second, and the third. If you have low glutathione and methylation problems, you don't detoxify well. So when you come encounter with just everyday toxins like benzene, gas fumes, heavy metals, your body is unable to detoxify them. So they accumulate. Now you have a, uh, a limb that's got toxins, a swelling, fluid, it's a perfect situation for complex regional pain syndrome. The fifth condition is not present in all cases, but it is in some, it's very important. That is an interference field. The body's autonomic nervous system controls our blood flow. And an interference field can be caused by something like a scar, which can change the signaling of the autonomic nervous system. It's very easy to treat once it's located. You just inject the scar with procaine, a local anesthetic, and that usually resolves the condition. So our approach is to address all of these issues. Improve the lymphedema with homeopathics, uh, hyperbaric chambers uh, also work. Uh, lymphatic massage is usually not an option because of the pain. We give glutathione or upregulate the glutathione pathways. We, had, we locate the genes that are causing the methylation issue and figure out what enzymes are doing and we give the appropriate supplement. For example, I have an MTHFR677 anomaly. That programs an enzyme that makes L-methylfolate, which is the active form of folate. So I simply take the active form of folate, L-methylfolate, and that basically bypasses the genetic problem in the methylation pathway. Toxicity, we detoxify. Uh, there's a number of compounds that we use to do that, uh, including chelation, uh, various herbal and vitamin mixes promote detoxification. And then if there's an interference field, we just inject that with procaine and that usually treats that. When you do all of these things, usually the complex regional pain syndrome will get much better or go away completely.